Sebastian wanted to come on and say hey because he's dressed so cute. <laughs> Look at this outfit. Feeling the fit, feeling the fit. I hope everybody is having a really awesome day. I just finished Quinlan. I got her done and painted. So excited how she came out. She's absolutely stunning. And I am going to put a photo in the corner of this video so you can see her. And um, the next babies I have up on my table are Rosalie and Laura and uh, a silicone that I'm actually gonna work on today. See, here's the thing. I wonder if any of you artists who do both silicone and vinyl ever feel this way uh, about one or the other. But for me, I have to really, really pump myself up to paint silicone. I just don't enjoy it the way I enjoy painting vinyl. And I figure I have to get myself out of my comfort zone and just push myself through it because I am getting better and better, just like you do with any kind of, you know, anything, right? <laughs> anything you do in life. Hopefully you get better and better as you go. That's not always the case for some things. I think we can hit a plateau for sure. But in any event, there's something about the stickiness, the messiness that just always makes me want to say, nah, I'll paint vinyl today. <laughs> so I'm trying to get myself out of that. Let me take his hat off. And it's back here. Because he just has a shadow. Oh, well it's fine i love this boy so much and i look at him every day and have a reminder of why i love this hobby um he's just fantastic you know he just um he represents magic to me so that is something i hope to achieve with every doll i create for someone as does every artist, is to make a baby that really speaks to someone's heart and they enjoy to pieces. But yeah, he's very, very special. Amazing baby. I don't think I've ever done many close-ups of him, so these are his details. And it is such a shame that his little tootsies are covered up because they're fantastic little tootsies. But he's just amazing. Uh, I love him more and more every day. So happy I have him. And he's basically kicking all the other babies to the curb. He is a naughty boy. <laughs> he just came into the pack and he said, I'm king. See you later, guys. <laughs> so anyway, I love this boy. I know that many of you adore him as well. So he is the one that I always seem to reach for to make a video. Um, also, he's new here, so of course that makes a lot of sense too, but I'm glad people enjoy him. He really is a beautiful baby. He just um, is so special in every possible way. Yeah, and sometimes I'm telling you at night when I have him displayed, I have to kind of make myself not look at him because he looks so real all the time. <laughs> it makes me a little anxious that I have like this little baby that will not go to sleep while I'm going to sleep, right? That's like, goes against all motherly instinct, but he is super cute. I mean, I love him. I don't know what else to say. It is like admiration for everything about him and, you know, all of that jazz. I'm going to flip up. Oh, there, you guys got a good shot of um, his watery eyes, which I did. Let me show you. Here we go. He has watery eyes. I kind of added that effect because they make his eyes look so much more real. It's a really cool trick that actually anyone can do. You don't have to be an artist. So if you're interested in creating a watery eye effect, just know that you should have poly glass eyes 
or acrylic eyes to do it, not glass eyes. And I have a tutorial on YouTube um, about that. Super easy, I promise. Anyway, I hope you all have a good weekend. I am still um, going to make a collection video of my current collection. Although every time I say that, I seem to lose the will because <laughs> it's a lot, right? Um, but as I mentioned before, I'm gonna have a lot of dolls for sale. Um, well, I shouldn't say a lot, but I'm gonna have quite a few. And you can thank this little guy for that because he's like, I'm an only child here. I don't know what you're talking about, lady, but I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> yeah, he's a cutie. This outfit is made by Disney. It is so cute. And I knew these colors would look amazing on him. He looks great in cool colors. And uh, yeah, I, I was so excited to get this outfit. So this is by Disney and you can find it on Amazon actually, which is fantastic. Yeah, so bye little Sebastian. We'll see what kind of trouble he gets into today. Um, I just keep him displayed everywhere. Like when I'm working, I have him sitting here, sitting there just so I can look over at him when I'm painting, you know, all of it because he's so much fun to look at. He's so perfect. Well, I'm going to finally end this video because <laughs> I keep saying that I am without saying that I am. But I am this time, promise. And thank you guys so much for checking out my channel, for commenting on my videos, being here with me. I have to say that you make this hobby so much more fun, captivating, and you know, um, you keep me going. Like that's what I'm loving about this is the connection that I have with people who enjoy watching my content and yeah, I mean, there's some amazing channel creators in the Reborn hobby, and I think that makes this all much more fun. I'm really excited for my series of painting tutorials and collector and artist interviews. That's all coming up. I'm planning it, and I can't wait to share that with you all. So have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time we flip on the camera. Bye.